What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer back with more news about BlizzCon 2019. This time we now have the full official schedule for all the events and panels and everything which is going to be taking place at this year's BlizzCon. So let's take a look at the schedule and see what just might be in store for us. As many of you know, I am specifically an Overwatch channel, so I'm only really going to be focusing on the Overwatch related panels and some of the Blizzard general ones since those oftentimes include Overwatch stuff as well. So we can see starting off 2 p.m. Central Time on Friday, November 1st, we have the opening ceremony. This is where all the major announcements are going to take place. Any new content we get, whether it's a new hero, new map, new game mode, anything, Overwatch 2, which is something we know is going to be coming, those always take place during the opening ceremony. So this is definitely something you're going to want to tune into. Typically, the opening ceremony is available for everyone to watch, even if you don't have a virtual ticket. So so even if you don't want to spend the money to get the ticket, you should still be able to tune into this and see what sort of announcements they're going to bring up. Now scrolling through the rest of Friday, we can see that there isn't a whole lot when it comes to Overwatch specifically. There is the Blizzard animation, Art of Setting the Scene. This is basically just going to talk about the development process of the Overwatch animated shorts, which I think the existence of this further hammers in the fact that we are going to be getting a new animated short at BlizzCon. Of course, we had the leaks suggesting that, and even without the leaks, it seemed pretty likely that that was going to be the case. Other than that, there isn't much when it comes to Overwatch on the first day. However, if we jump on over to November 2nd, we can see that there is a bit more in the works. Of course, there's some Overwatch League preview stuff, some Overwatch World Cup, I'm not really going to delve too much into the esports side of things since I don't typically cover that much on my channel. However, we do get a Blizzard art studio where they're going to be showing how to draw D.Va. That could be interesting for some of you. Another artist-based panel, Artists at Work, Overwatch, Discover How Artists Create the Unique Heroes and whatnot. And Overwatch Update. Come learn more about Overwatch from the developers of the game. This is an incredibly vague and just generic title. Like, this doesn't really mean anything in and of itself, but I'm fairly convinced that this is going to be where they delve more into Overwatch 2. Of course, we're going to see it first announced at the opening ceremonies, but this is most likely going to be the panel where they delve into what Overwatch 2 really is, what it's going to mean for players specifically, and how it's going to affect the, well, state of Overwatch as a game and a franchise moving forward. We have, of course, recently gotten some leaks talking a little bit about what we might be able to expect when it comes to Overwatch 2, but I am currently working on a video which should be out in the next couple days where I delve completely into all the different leaks we've had for it, all the different information we know about Overwatch 2, and what that ultimately builds up to, and what sort of expectations we can then have for Overwatch 2. I think a lot of people still have some misconceptions about what Overwatch 2 really is, so hopefully I'll be able to clear everything up once I get that video put out, so look forward to that in the near future. But otherwise, the last main thing for the Overwatch panels is the voices of Overwatch, which is of course just the voice actors coming out to talk about, well, being voice actors. They do this every year, it's usually a fun panel to watch, so probably one you're going to want to check out. I will also mention though that you likely have noticed a number of coming soon panels showing up, particularly on the first day, November 1st, and from my understanding, these are basically panels which they don't want to give a proper title or description for yet, because doing so will spoil what's going to be revealed. So these are almost certainly going to be things tied to announcements from the open ceremony. This could have to do with any of the different titles. It could be for Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Hearthstone. We're really just going to have to wait and see what it ends up being. But once again, I guarantee you that at least one or two of these are going to be tied to Overwatch and will more than likely have to do with Overwatch 2 and any other sort of big announcements we get during the opening ceremony. So for the time being, we aren't really going to be able to know what exactly to look forward to in this regard. But just keep in mind that there are a lot of coming soon panels over the course course of days one and two, so even if it seems like the schedule is currently a bit lackluster, there is in fact going to be some more stuff which they're just not open to telling us about just yet. 
But that'll do it for today's quick news update. I just wanted to show you guys the new schedule so that you all know what to look forward to. I'll have a link to the schedule as well down in the description where you'll also be able to purchase the virtual ticket if you're so inclined. And of course, I will be keeping you all up to date with any new information or announcements regarding BlizzCon both before and during the event. So be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel and Twitter so you can keep up to date. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know which panels you're most interested in when it comes to BlizzCon 2019. Naturally, everyone's going to be hyped for the opening ceremony, but maybe you're one of the people who's a bit more interested in some of the artist panels. Those are some that I tend to enjoy watching as well, just because I really like the art style of Overwatch, and I think it's an interesting thing to check out. As always though, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and share it with a friend if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit up the bell to never miss any of my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.